well, I'd heard about it on the radio, heard that they were uh, bringing the fuselage through, and, and it's a piece of history. It's, um, you know, it, it's, it's a piece of something, man, very courageous, very experienced, um, knew what he needed to do in an, in an emergency um, to put that plane down. And I just wanted to get a chance to see it uh, before it goes to the museum. You know, it's coming through here. This is, this is relatively close compared to where it's going to end up. Um, so, you know, uh, a beautiful sunny day and, and get a chance to see a piece of history fly through uh, Delaware. My wife is a pilot. Uh, I, I took my training just so I could um, sit in the, uh, in the right seat and, and take care of the uh, radios for her and, and land the plane if there's an emergency. But uh, not the kind of emergency this guy went through. Having been in a couple of emergencies with aircraft, um, a smaller, much smaller aircraft, uh, and knowing what happens when you lose engines, it's, um, it's pretty impressive what he was able to do. What he was able to even think about doing, which is, which is obviously part of the training, but he had to have an awful lot of experience to do what he was able to do.